Hi everyone, it's Nicole. Welcome back to my channel and another card making video tutorial. Today, this has been highly asked for, but more masculine themed cards and I've got some all-star baseball themed cards to start off this release. They are from the Paper Tray Inc. April 2023 release and I will have more guy themed cards, if you will, um, as the next couple weeks go on. We are going to start by stamping these baseball mitts. This is from the Tucket Dad stamp set. However, any sports lover in your life is going to love anything from here. I mean, even if you've, let's say you've got some softball playing girls, um, whatever the case may be. I didn't necessarily make quote unquote dad themed cards here. I just made baseball themed cards. So they're really going to work for lots of things. Now I notice I didn't really line up my baseball mitt very well here. Um, Actually, no, I did here. I think I cut out the part where I didn't like it. I am using my favorite Simon Says Stamp Positively Saturated inks, and I am stamping a bunch of these baseball mitts. I had a different idea to start with, so I stamped a lot of these. I'm going to have a few extra that I can use on other cards a little bit later on, because <laughs> um, I ended up only using two of these, but... I wanted to show how easy it is to mass produce if you wanted to make a whole bunch of cards or tags or uh, place card settings. Maybe you're in charge of the end of the season, you know, baseball, softball banquet for school activities or the team or whatever the case may be. I thought it would be really, really fun. Maybe you're just want to decorate up some gift bags. Um, I think that would be cute too. You could do them in your team colors and absolutely amazing. Now I kind of went with very basic, um, a color combination I like that I thought would work for pretty much anyone. So it's going to be a red, black, and white color combination mostly. And I am using the shades of brown positively saturated ink. So latte, um, cappuccino, cappuccino, and mocha. Um, and different combinations of those for my baseball bats and for the gloves. Now I did stamp multiples of the bats as well. I'm gonna end up using two more bats than I did of the gloves, but that is gonna be just fine. So the mitts and the baseball bats are from the Tucket Dad stamp set, and then there's coordinating dies, of course, to die cut. Now when I'm done stamping all of these two images and doing all of the great layering, I do want a baseball, and I'm gonna to have to go to a different stamp set from that, for that. The Just For Dad stamp set, and there's coordinating dies, is going to have some additional images that are really gonna work back to other products from this April release. And because my baseball, obviously you want it to be white-ish, <laughs> um, if as you will, you could just leave it and just stamp the lacing on the baseball, but I opted to stamp my baseball with flannel positively saturated ink, which is just a super light gray. And then I'm going to stamp the layering for my baseball with cherry ink. On a few of the baseballs, I didn't think I got it lined up very great, so I do stamp a few more. And I ended up not using all these either, so I have a lot of little leftovers that I can use for other projects. Sometimes that happens. Sometimes I change my idea mid design and that's okay. And the flannel is so light that I think it really works for the baseball, the baseball here. Once I have all of my images stamped and layered, I'm gonna die cut these with the coordinating Tuck It Dad and Just For Dad stamp sets or pardon me, dies. So you can kind of see them there in the lower right hand corner of my screen where I have um, the Tucket Dad images. Now these obviously coordinate, these images and dies will coordinate back to previously released products from Paper Tray Inc. I am not using those for my card today. I'm going to use these with some other brand new products. Everything I'm using today is brand new. 
and I love the mixing and matching. I love trying to find creative ways to like tie it all together. But remember, everything I'm using here can be used in lots of different ways. So next, I'm gonna heat up my Glimmer Hot Foil system because there is a new hot foil plate in this release. It's called Raising the Bar Hot Foil Plate, and it's gonna be great for so many card designs. I love a good basic hot foil plate. Now I did use my favorite Crimson Stars foil from Spellbinders to foil this on some Hammer Mill cardstock, which I find, and I know so many of you have found that this works the best for foiling. It just foils seamlessly. And I'm taking a dry paintbrush to remove any uh, foil that's kind of stuck there that's not on the foiled areas but I love it because of the subtle stars in the background. Now on one of my backgrounds, uh, you can see it's smaller than the other. I did foil it on a half sheet of hammer mill cardstock and then I die cut it with an A2 sized die. However, on one of them, I foiled wonky and missed a corner. So I just die cut it with a smaller rectangle die. You can always do that as well. This die shape here is from the Love to Layer Delightful Brackets die set. This is the middle sized die from that and I die cut it from white cardstock and I'm adding greetings from the Just Sentiments in Motion stamp set using the charcoal and cherry inks from Simon Says Stamp. And then that big black bracket in the background, that is also from the Love to Layer Delightful Brackets. And I die cut that from glossy black cardstock, which gives a really fun effect, especially against that glimmered crimson star foil background and then all the other images. So for the first one, I stamped You're an All Star and then everything you do is a home run, which obviously is a very baseball themed um, greeting. I am going to stamp the number one then, and I believe that is from the Tuck It Dad stamp set. I am going to foil, foil, stamp that with flannel ink at the very top. I felt like it was missing a little something, and the, the flannel is gonna be very nice and light but I think it just adds the perfect little finishing touch to this greeting. So these greetings are very centered and they are more towards the top of this bracket die, giving me plenty of room to do some little crisscrossed bats and a glove and a ball down near the bottom. I'm gonna glue these in place. So I'm gonna glue the white sentiment to that black background. We're going to glue down our baseball bats and gloves on top. I'm just gonna use some acrylic blocks to kind of help hold everything down and flat. I'm going to use some tweezers and things to kind of help um, attach everything, but I want to pop up the bracket on the foiled background with foam. So I'm just gonna put a little foam here on the back you guys knew I had to have foam somewhere, right? <laughs> uh, I always love to have some foam and I like how that just pops that up on the background. Well, that's where it's going. It's stuck down now. I think that's fine. And then we're just going to basically frame up this bracket or background or sentiment, I guess, with our baseball bats. So I'm kind of crisscrossing them and then we're going to put in the center our glove. I love that there's little cutouts there in the glove. The detail is amazing. And then we're gonna put a baseball right in the center. Super quick, super easy, and absolutely love, love, love these products. I thought I'd add another baseball, but changed my mind. Let's do the other background. Now I did stamp my greetings here over to the left. So I grabbed my baseball bats and everything and I grabbed the sentiments I wanted to use and I felt like just design wise, I liked the bats going more vertical on and, and kind of crisscrossing on this card over to the right and having my sentiments shifted over. I, I thought it looked um, a little bit better with this particular design of sentiment. And this one is You Can and You Will 
and I stamped that with the cherry ink. And then the rest of our sentiment we're going to stamp in charcoal ink right underneath it, just centering it above the, the bigger, bolder greeting. And it may not be easy, but it will be worth it, which is more of an encouragement type card. But I thought that that really worked well for this. And I loved how it turned out. So next, I am going to do the exact same thing. We've got our background. This background's a little bit smaller, remember the foil background, but we have our same gloss black die cut. We're going to layer this piece right on top, and then we're going to put foam on the back of that and pop it up on the background. We're going to layer on our baseball bats, this time going more vertical. Little liquid glue. We're going to grab our baseball mitt. Love how this turned out. And then I did end up using two baseballs here. So we're going to do one right in the mitt like we did before. I'm going to turn that. I like it a little bit better. And then I'm going to tuck the other one kind of over here back behind the, the baseball bat. I like that. Perfect. And then popping it up with our foam adhesive and you can see the background's a little smaller which is going to give us a nice white border all the way around and I think this looks really great too so just a com another option very similar look just a little bit smaller background now the final thing that we're going to do for our two cards is we are going to add a scattering of some star sequins Honestly, these cards could be finished just like this, but you guys know me. I always love a good little scattering of embellishments. So I grabbed my favorite Pretty Pink Posh Silver Star uh, Mini silver mini star confetti and we're just going to scatter these around our cards look how pretty these are very easy to create a coordinating envelope I'm going to do a little shorty video on my channel showing you how to create those so stay tuned for that I also have lots more um, sports themed or dad themed cards coming here over the next week or so. So definitely stay tuned for those as well. Loving um, just kind of, it's been highly requested here on my channel to do some more of those kinds of cards. So that is what you're going to see here, especially this release is fantastic for that. Definitely check it out. I have some links down in the description box but really, really great products. And think outside the box. Like I said, these are going to work for so many different things. And going into the summer months, you may also be able to use these for even little ones. Um, treat bags and things for, for baseball teams or t even t-ball teams, I think it would be fun or even use them in your scrapbooking. Um, these would be fantastic embellishments for scrapbooking. Okay, everybody, thank you guys so much for joining me today. As always, the supplies I used are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Thank you so much for joining me today for another paper crafting tutorial. I love being able to share with this incredible community of crafters. I want to give a huge shout out and special thank you to my amazing Patreon members. If you're interested in joining Patreon, please click the link in the description underneath the video here on YouTube. Patreon is a private community where you can support more of what I do. There's exclusive content. You'll receive a handmade birthday card from me during your birthday month monthly lives for my top tier patrons, and more. We would love to have you join our growing community. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel, click the like button, and don't forget to click the notification bell so you're always notified when I have a video or go live. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you again next time.